is Christianity or the kingdom that's prayed for in the Lord's Prayer a real kingdom? Uh, I think the, uh, you know, the question uh, that we're asking is a matter of faith and belief. Uh, remember that the governments that exist out there right now really believe based on or happen based on the faith of the people. So uh, without the belief concept and whether you call it democracy, uh, whether you want to put in a Republican government versus a Democratic government, uh, it is all based on faith. Now, those faiths are based on basically a legal system, which we already have researched and discussed, that is based on literally the imaginations of men without getting into the debate of people who challenge that the Bible is nothing more than the imaginations of men, uh, that's just based on very poor research on the individual who's come to that conclusion. Uh, we'll have further videos in the future that deal with how powerful the Bible really is when you go into research on it. So all I can say is that Christians today are not the Christians of the past. They're not the brave Christians who were willing to put their lives right into the arenas of the Romans to stand pure before God. Uh, they would not incorporate their belief in Christ Jesus with the Roman corporate idea. So uh, they themselves actually died uh, for the right cause. Uh, unfortunately, today's Christians are too busy in the secularism and compromising, and I just don't see true Christianity in the way that it has been displayed through registered religion. So I think that if I had to sum it up, the error on whether Christianity is a state is, is really based on those that aren't exercising their faith and acting as an ambassador for Jesus Christ uh, walking with true belief that it is a kingdom. Uh, the Bible is the charter. Now, if you're mixing in trying to say that this charter is protected under the Canadian charter or the American uh, constitutions or charters, that's, uh, uh, that's a ridiculous uh, mix-up that's coming into your mind because these, these theories like that have been disproven in courts of law not winning in favor of people who thought that Christianity would overturn in a court of law for people claiming to be Americans or Canadians. Uh, this, uh, this book is contrary to what's allowed in nations like Canada and the United States and other countries. It preaches about things that are morally not going to be accepted in, the, in God's realm that are accepted in the world of Satan's government. So uh, for us to uh, become unevenly yoked, mixed up, merged into uh, the belief that somehow we can uh, be good Americans or good Canadians um, and still maintain a moral conscious position uh, before God is, is just unfounded. So... The only thing that's stopping you from walking under the sovereignty of God is the fact whether you're willing to go ahead and do that, speak it, and, and uh, be that. Uh, God can't make you be that. That's something that you have to do individually. So baptism and what begins someone into the citizenship, citizenship of God um, is only symbolic. The actions speak louder than words. So I ask you again, if you're claiming to be a Christian, do you really believe that you're in the citizenship of God? In God's kingdom, New Jerusalem above, which is stated to be the mother of us all, those that are spiritual believers? Or are you deciding to be part of the vomit of society uh, with what you see going on in the world politics right now? Do you really have your faith and trust in that? Will you be willing to sell your soul to the devil? Be careful because it rests in you right now what you're going to do and whether or not 
the belief that God's kingdom is real. It's up to you. If you don't believe it, don't expect the secular nation around you to believe it. 